Vortex versus Team QQ4 U2. So if he goes Phalong on the mic, get the hell out of here. So um, on our on camera right here, we got Ume Shoryu. On camera left here, we have Concrete, Concrete, with two Ks. Metsu Hadouken versus Yoga Shangri-La. Now I I was not a believer in Yoga Shangri-La until I saw Concrete playing Sim. This dude is serious. He'll catch you anytime, anywhere. We're seeing Concrete having a very very good sense of zoning right now. Smart anti-air. Umi Shori able to get in, but Concrete takes a grab. Now, you don't usually want to uh, grab Dal Sim, generally speaking, because if he techs and a smart player will tech in this game, it's not that hard. Um, he will be able to make additional space. Concrete actually trying to close in for the kill. <laughs> EX juggle, I guess. Umi Shori lands with the cross up, goes for the great cross up, gets blocked properly, but no punish coming from Concrete. Talking with a bad teleport, gets punished by an EX Fireball. He's on his last legs and he eats a Shoryu. Ume Shoryu living up to his name as best as he can, at least. Now, it, we, as you can see in the in that view there, Ume Shoryu is a pad player. And we've actually seen quite a few very strong pad players here. We saw Wolf, Wolf Crone, Wolf Crone, I can't say his name. Wolf Crone, Pad Viper, I believe on this team. And uh, the winner of the HD Remix tournament was Royal Flush, a uh, pad Ryu player. That, that took down Damdai and Alex Valle back to back. Oh, sucked in! Wow! Vacuum kick. Now Concrete's gonna need to land this super, basically. Nice jumping early roundhouse. Dude, Concrete falls. Do me show you. So the game count in the loser's final match, first set is one game to zero. So uh, on our camera left right now, we have Mr. Scrimps, Chun-Li player, with an awesome shirt. You guys can see that shirt, right? A-H-V-B. And we got Aaron S coming up against him. Aaron S representing the new uh, Super Street Fighter 4 stick from Mad Cats. Shout out to Mad Cats. Hey, Markman was here. Oh no, he left earlier, right? Yeah. Markman's cool dude. So we're checking our buttons. And, um. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is my first time over on this side of the venue. What's up, dude? That's what they say. Is that you in the chat saying that I look like a cartoon character? Wait, what, do you, what, do you, what does that even mean? What, I look like a cartoon character? Do you know who Paul Lee is, Flo? <laughs> okay, I'm a cartoon version of Paul Lee. All right, let's get it. Player one side, we're gonna have um, Aaron S. On player two side, we have Scrimps. Uh, Rufus versus Chun-Li. I, um, I might be a little bit biased, because I like to play Chun-Li, but I feel like this is one of the hardest matchups ever for Chun. Rufus just has that incredible pressure that Chun just has so much trouble dealing with, although Chun did get improved in this game. So, um, we'll see. We do see uh, Chun's new ultra combo, Kokosho, which he can land off basically anything she wants. And we saw no link attempt after a landed Hasanchi from Scrims. He looks like he's playing very carefully. He's gonna block as much as possible, blocking too much, he's gonna find himself in the corner like he is now. Aaron S taking his time going in. Now a lot of Chun-Li players hate this matchup enough that they are going to run away the, from the start and just play turtle style the whole time. But I feel like that's kind of the wrong way to play this match, considering that Rufus gets exponentially scarier when he has meter. So you, and since he's a low stun character, it might be worth just rushing him down immediately from the start, trying to get a stun, or trying to at least lower his health plenty before he gets enough meter to make EX Ataya a scary threat. Very nice. He doesn't have Kokosho yet. Goes for an instant stock combo and misses it. Now 
Now, I know that the uh, the down forward light kick, um, I believe it's called a blade kick. Blade kick, I heard it called blade kick a lot. From Chun-Li, got improved as an anti-air. And I would like to see how it fares against dive kicks, because I personally haven't done it. Anti-air, standing medium punch, one of Chun's buffed tools. That was already one of her best moves. And it got even better, considering her uh, defensive hitboxes kind of just disappeared off the front part of her body there. Now, uh, now we do see Scrimps going into this next match with a super meter, and I just think that's even more reason for him to just rush that down because Rufus does not have Ultra yet, and uh, Chun Li is not going to be gaining any meter during this fight until she spends it at least. Scrimps on the defensive. He doesn't want to stick too much stuff out. He doesn't want to get hit by a random dive. Very nice. He finds that grab. He's probably going to go for Oh, he goes for a Nuki String. Nuki String being the uh, the close roundhouse canceled into a light Hasanchu. That actually combos on counter hit. And counter hit happens all the time with that because that can beat up a uh, cross-tech attempt. Wow, close jab anti-air. Does not go for a second uh, EX light. Oh, gets popped up by a short roundhouse. Oh, everybody's nightmare. Getting some bad flashbacks of uh, Vanilla Street Fighter 4. Oh dear. Again, this is game two of this match. First set, that is, of the losers' finals here in the Street Fighter Super Street Fighter 4 Teams Tournament at MWC 2010. And Aaron S is going on the offense. Nice link from the low jab to the standing fierce. FADC after the Sanchu. It's a block confirm. Because if, if you hit with it, you actually are at disadvantage <laughs> after the FADC. But if you block, if they block, then you're then you're good. Very nice use of uh, far pokes. Oh, instant early air grab. Aaron S is going to need to put something together. He's got full meter and a full ultra to do so, though. And in this match, Chun Li can actually trade with an anti air forward. She guess she doesn't need to, and Scrims takes this match. The game count is now one to one between these two teams. So, how these teams are going to end up is it's going.